Hey guys, welcome back. Going for another ride today and uh, decided to switch it up a little bit uh, this time. I am not on the Honda Trail 125. I am now riding on my Vespa scooter. Um, I've also got one of those and decided to take this out today. Um, this is a 2007 Vespa LXV 150. 150 cc engine um, and I've had it for a long time <laughs> since 2007 uh, so it's been pretty good to me I just recently doing some maintenance on it I had to clean the carburetor uh, the idle jet was clogged up so I fixed that so I figured I'd take it out for a little spin oh look at that there's some deer <laughs> Uh, take it out for a little spin today um, to make sure everything's working okay, and it seems like it is. So, just decided to um, take you along with me. Some nice roads back here. Just take a quick ride. I don't think it's going to be a long ride today. I don't really have any uh, plans or destination. Just kind of drive it and see where it takes me. You never know what you're going to find. So sometimes you see something interesting, like those deer I just saw back there. I don't know if you are able to see them, but uh, that was kind of neat. You have to be careful. There are many of them around here. They do jump out in the middle of the road, so I have to keep my eyes peeled for them. Speed bump or slow down. Suspension on the Vespa is not the greatest, but it works. There's a park over here. Let's see if I can get into there. Nice place to take a little pit stop. Maybe show you the scooter. Of people working on their gardens over there. There's a nice uh, sight. <laughs> Size of that flag. Uh, that's a big one. And there's some sort of a, I don't know what that is, a memorial, I guess, or something. I have to 
we'll take a close look at that at some point. Okay, so this is my uh, 2007 Vespa LX1 or LXV150. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been a fun machine to own. Uh, had it for 16 years now. It's still going strong. Um, I got some silly decals on here. Uh, I put that on there last year just to playing around. Uh, obviously didn't do the best job <laughs> putting it on there. I thought I had it on there quite good, but there's some wrinkle on it. Um, there was a scratch. I forget if it's on this side or the other side. Years ago, some lady knocked it over in the parking lot, and there's a scratch on the side. I've always just been living with it, but then I saw these stickers, so I just put them on there. Um, then I saw the carry bag on the back. Uh, carries quite a lot of stuff in there. And up around the front, got another nice little rack. So yeah, it's a 2007. I think I got about 5,500 miles on it. And it's been fun, so um, yeah, let's uh, keep riding and see what else we can find. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, I didn't have the camera recording, uh, but somebody just stopped me, uh, just asked me about the scooter. Um, so I was talking to him about that. He's complimenting me on the scooter, and he's in this really nice Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I'm like, well, I like your car. And he's like, no, 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 I really like that scooter. <laughs> So we had a little chat about that. Um, I don't want to be going that way. How about this way? Can we get out this way? Try this way. And even though it looks like it's such a nice day to sunshine, and I'm getting hit with raindrops. Um, yeah. It's, uh, Some raindrops are coming down. I really hope it doesn't start raining, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Oh, there's another deer. <laughs> and you blink, you miss them. See him standing right there? Hello, deer. Goodbye, deer. Careful in this road, they're all over the place. Now that does not look good. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. Uh, somebody's got a problem with their water. I guess they know about it, they got the cones here. Not good. Where's it going? Oh, right down the gully. Okay. It's got a lot more water coming out of that thing than it's actually coming down the hill, but whatever. down this way. There's a big reservoir.
Bari. got to know the limits of a 150cc scooter, so people start getting on your tail. Best to just let them pass. Wait three miles. Should be just ahead here. I think I can see it. There's a plaque or something that <laughs> tells me the significance of this uh, this bridge. So this is Bartram's Covered Bridge, and I just did a quick <laughs> Google of it. Uh, apparently it was built in 1860 and closed to traffic in 1941. Uh, and I guess that's when they built the new bridge there. So this was up until the 1940s. Uh, how you got across this uh, Crumb Creek. Apparently there was uh, a lot of bridges uh, made like this, but this is the last uh, surviving one uh, in this area. And you cannot get in here. hanging pretty cool design appears to be made out of wood everything I guess yeah so there you have it Bartram's covered bridge there's a better shot of it. All right, I think that's uh, going to conclude the uh, adventure today. Um, I'm going to head back home. Um, it's just a fun little, little ride today. And uh, stay tuned. We'll uh, do some more adventures coming up, either on the Honda Trail or on the Vespa. So, hope to see you again. Take care.